I'm going to show you an insanely overpowered way to level up furnishing in New World. Uh, it's kind of a new thing. It hasn't been around forever, but it's super, super good. Now, this is not a full furnishing guide. I'll be making a full furnishing guide at some point in the future. I've just been really lazy and I've gotten around my professional ones. The only one I've done so far at the time making this video is weaponsmithing. So I'll get to them eventually, though. So subscribe for that. But anyway, so what we're going to be doing in this one is an item that was not craftable before, but now it is. It's called Powder Horn. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to an auction house, trading post, whatever, and you're going to search for powder or powder horn and go for the schematic right here. Now, it's going to vary server by server. Some servers it might be unbuyable. Some servers you might get it for 100 coins. Uh, whatever it is, this investment is worth making. I already bought one for 800 coins and used it. So uh, you're just going to want to go ahead and get this. It's worth the investment cost. So if you go ahead and use that and go over to the furnishing station or workshop, you'll find it way down in the bottom under decorations. Now it has the wrong icon for whatever reason, you know how it is. But it uses an animal horn, gunpowder, and beeswax. Now animal horn might be an issue, except it's not. Because when you salvage this, the only thing it gives back is animal horn. So the only real issue is going to be the beeswax, which we will get to in a moment. But this gives 2,000 furnishing. Now, you'll need 102 furnishing to unlock it, so it's not necessarily going to get you the whole way. You're going to have to make something like uh, the old straw cot or something else to get to 102. But once you are 102, this is it. It's so insane. It's actually just OP how good it is. So let me cra uh, craft one for you so I can show you what I mean. So when you salvage it, it gives one-to-one -one animal horn. Now I've got three again. So the only thing it's going to use is beeswax. But we got a problem with beeswax. Also, gunpowder is free, by the way, in case you don't know. Most servers, gunpowder is 0 0.01. So I don't even account that cost into this. But uh, let's look at beeswax. There's an issue. All right. So if you try to search beeswax, this is 1.1.1 that I'm playing on, which is live the live version right now when I made this video. If you search beeswax, it doesn't exist. You can't search it. It's just like those other stupid items that we were able to exploit in the past for weaponsmithing and armorsmithing and all that type of stuff. Uh, which, I don't know, did they ever fix those actually? Sticky Vaughn. No, they never fixed those either. Okay, well, those old ones are also still bugged. But there's a trick for this. All you have to do is go find some honey trees and get one beeswax from one of them. Then you'll go to your items and you're going to find your beeswax in your items. In my case, I have 10, so it's right there. Now, here's all the buy orders, but if you go to place a sell order, it'll tell you what the current price is for sell orders, so you know where to start. Then the painful part, the really painful part. Now, this is assuming you want to buy it. I don't know why I'm searching bees. It's like a habit. So you can't sort by name on 1.1.1. I don't know. They broke it at some point. So the only way you're going to be able to do this is to go by price, and you're going to just keep skipping pages like this until you get to whatever page has items at that price range that we were just looking at. In this case, it was 0.74. Well, that took me about three to four minutes of hitting next page, but we are in the correct price bracket. So now we're going to go slow and carefully look until we find that beeswax. It's going to be in here somewhere. There it is. So we're going to buy all that. Now from here, you're just going to keep on going meticulously because we don't know what it's at and is not worth backing out to see. There are a bunch of people on, for example, on this one, they had one listed like this which was super, super obnoxious, uh, but they just had one listed like this, which made it so I, c I couldn't see. Because when you go to do that sell order trick, you can only see like five, the cheapest five auctions at a time. So when people do this crap of listing one, I think they did this on purpose. I have a feeling someone did this on purpose, but uh, when people does the thing of just listing a bunch of it for one, list one, list one, list one, then you can't actually see where the next price bracket is. So once you get to this point, you're just going to like, like what I'm doing right here, you're just gonna buy everything you see, as long as it's still a reasonable price and then keep going and just painfully painstakingly just look until you get it all it's, it's rough but uh if you want to buy it that's what you're going to do now if you want to gather it don't worry i got you covered because i know some of you guys out there really really like gathering your materials even if it loses you money long term compared to what else you could do in that time it's just there's something about playing iron man mode that i know some of you guys really love so for you guys if you want to gather this, instead of doing what I'm doing here, buying it, uh, there are some places that you can go. I also only want to back out of this because how hard it is to get to this part. I'm actually going to buy a bunch of this off recording, and then we're going to go to that next thing of what I was saying. Oh, and before we go on where to farm it, don't forget you can also place a buy order through the same thing going to sell it. Clicking place buy order, 
and then place a buy order, which might be a much more reasonable way to get it in bulk. Just list a buy order for super expensive and it'll get filled maybe. Now as for where to farm honey, my favorite places, not oh, honey, sorry, beeswax, it's a habit with honey. Uh, my favorite places to go, low level will be Willet Homestead. Uh, there's a bunch of honey trees around here. I think their respawn's like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know what the respawn is for a honey tree, somewhere between 10 and 25 minutes. Another place is over here by Cutlass Keys, which is Forlack. Along the south side of here, you'll find a bunch of honey trees just all throughout here, maybe like 10 or 15 total. Another good place would be Edge Flow, like north of Edge Flow, so around Stone Parish. All through here, you can find a bunch of honey trees. There's just a crap ton of them through there, and I think there were even some on the south side of this. So just go look up a map or something of that, and you'll be able to find a bunch of honey trees there. So those are some great places to farm honey trees. Honey trees give primarily beeswax, or at least in these ones they do. These are the ones I've tested. Then you should get beeswax like six out of seven times, honey the other time. So uh, those are amazing places to farm out some beeswax for this. This is the first place I mentioned. This is uh, Willett's Homestead, and as you can see, there's beeswax, beeswax, more beeswax, there's iron to mine, there's random stuff to grab, there's a lot of stuff to do during downtime. You can also run down here and grab iron between the cycles. And for the one down here, same thing with iron. This is the second place that I mentioned, by the way. This is Forlac, and as you can see way at the top left, there's honey. Honey boy back there, there's honey down there. Well, beeswax, it's hardly even honey anymore. More honey, more beeswax, whatever. There's also oil down by the water that you can mine during the downtime, and this is all in a place that has iron, so while you're waiting for it to respawn, you can make loops where you get iron and loop all the way back around and get into some kind of cycle to just farm this, but not just waste your time waiting for it to respawn. So this is honestly probably the best place to get it, I think. As for north of Skyview Repose, I, I was going to show like that same kind of thing of here's what it looks like, but it's really spread out. The honey's really, really spread out. But I do have a guide for farming platinum ingots, or platinum ore, I mean, in order to get like brilliant gemstones. And that route runs all through the different honey spawns. So you can actually pair that with that route in order to make some kind of make some money and get some gems and stuff while you're at it. So I'll link that in the description just below the first paragraph if you guys want to check out that money route that you could also get the beeswax in. Now as for the animal horn, uh, if I remember right, it was from, let's look what it says. It was from, from uh, derived from elk bull, but it's a type of timber, which is weird, but... Uh, so you're gonna get that from any kind of elk that has horns basically I think of any level, but you should be able to just buy it now I'd recommend buying like five or ten just to make it easier on yourself So you don't go craft one thing click 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 come on get out of thing. Okay. Yes Okay, got out back to my menu do like salvage and then do you want to do like ten or twenty at a time to save yourself for like clicking and stuff But you don't need more than ten or twenty probably maybe 50 max and then you just get the dog in beeswax because the gunpowder just to show what I'm talking about, it's free. You can just go in here and say, I'll buy a billion gunpowder, and it's like nothing. So, uh, yeah, that thing, it's OP. It's the best way to level up furnishing, as far as I'm aware. At least once you're at 102 and you can make it. But there you go. I wanted to show you about the powder horn, how OP it is. I'll be making a full furnishing guide some point in the future, which will probably be much more applicable after this video, because after this video, the price of beeswax may go through the roof after a few days, so you may need something else at some point. So definitely subscribe if you want to keep up with trade uh, profession guides and New World news and all sorts of stuff. Like I said, I'm planning to do jewel crafting guide, armoring guide, cooking guide, uh, arcana, every single thing. What's the, you know, all the numbers, the real math, what's the best way to do it, how much do you need it? That's the type of stuff I'm looking to make in the future. I've just been lazy and haven't done it lately yet. But there you go, there's Powderhorn. It's maybe the best way to level furnishing after 102. So get out there, fire your beeswax, go get your furnishing to level 200.